Okay guys, so if you own a Tundra like mine, this is where the crankshaft seal is. Okay, um, you have a sprocket here, it's a crankshaft sprocket, and then <clears throat> the pulley goes into here. Okay, this is where the timing belt goes to. <coughs> okay, so the pulley rides right here. Okay, right here. And uh, so basically the um, crankshaft seal, the front crankshaft seal is behind the sprocket. So you see these two little holes right here? Okay, you need to have a puller to pull it out. And the reason why, oh, well, you need it is because um, over time, moisture builds up between uh, this thing this thing right here and this thing right here. And so um, it seals very, very uh, tight. And so um, it uh, requires a puller to pull it out. However, with mine, I've already pulled it out. And I've already... <coughs> worked on it so that it comes out easily okay but uh, <clears throat> basically I'll show you here it requires you to have a puller and let's see if I can, okay okay you need a screw a bolt that bolts into this hole right here okay and another bolt that bolts into this hole right here okay and so uh, you need a puller to pull it out it out like that okay so um with mine my polar the way it was designed it didn't have uh the the correct uh, thread uh to go into here so what i did was i uh invented my own little bolts and i know it looks crappy but it works okay so i welded the uh the right thread here that uh, onto a regular bolt like that and uh, it works and that's how I pulled it out so now what we're gonna do okay, is we are going to be taking this thing out so here's the thing we have to be careful and the reason is because see this housing right here this is aluminum and see this this is the crankshaft we don't want to damage either the crankshaft the steel here here or the aluminum housing because if we if we damage either both uh, basically we're gonna get into a lot of trouble and uh, we don't want that what I meant by trouble is that we're, we're gonna have leaks so we're gonna um, attack that okay so let me put this on pause let me get together my my uh, tools and we'll start this process okay so this is my first attempt at uh, removing that seal so as you can see I have my little impact driver that you have seen me using adapt that to the uh, that little Philip head I'm gonna attempt this okay guys I'm gonna use this drill a hole drill this into there pull it out don't judge me Nope. Okay. So let's see. Wow, that's pretty heavy duty. Okay. <clears throat> let's see. Oh. Oh, okay. Ha ha! It's not that. It's not that invincible. Okay. Ha ha! Ho ho! Okay, so this is the seal. So let's go get our handy dandy seal and uh, put it in there. Okay guys, so this is what's going on. I am gonna be installing this here. I've lubricated this a little bit, and I've also lubricated the shaft here. I avoided lubricating the wall of the housing there. And uh, the reason is because I'm afraid that if I lubricate the wall of the housing, that uh, as time goes by, 
the oil might eat at the lip, at the seal here. Uh, but that's just my concern. Um, some of you might not agree with me, but anyway, um, I just lubricate this part right here. Okay, so um, now I'm gonna put this thing in. Now you don't want to press it in because you don't you don't want to damage this lip right here. I don't know if you can see that. So what what I have to do is I have to angle it sort of like like that and then drive that in. And so that's in. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Get my little handy dandy uh, breast punch. Okay, so this is the one that comes from the engine. So you see, it uh, it's really rusty, and I don't like that. And this is the one that comes from my original engine, from my car, from my truck. And you see, uh, you could see that uh, there's a difference in quality of it. As you can see, there's a lot of crud here, and I don't like the crud. It might eat at the um, timing belt. So whereas this one is clean, spick and span clean. See. And you see this one right here? It's not clean. It's got a lot of crud within the splines. So that's why I'm switching them out. So anywho, uh this one has no rust. I don't know why, but California cars are are way better than any cars out there so far that I've seen. So this one goes in and that's it replace that it looks as good as new so uh, we're gonna be replacing this with the new um, what you call it so uh, let's see I'll be right back <laughs> 